What are we even doing here? Sprat attack. <laughs> sprat versus Sprat. Ooh. Sprat pack. Ah. Yeah. I've got two cans of Latvian Sprats. I'm going to try them out side by side just to see how similar or how different they are. Can A, Riga Sprats in oil. These were given to me by my friend. She grew up in Belarus like 30 years ago. She said these are the Sprats that she ate as a kid and she gave me this can, thank you. And then my buddy over on r slash canned sardines, Lucky, he says, man, you gotta try those Belvedere smoked Sprats in oil that Dan has on the RainbowTomatoesGarden.com website. And I said, sure, Lucky, I'll give him a shot. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna open them up like side by side and um yeah and uh and see like i don't know how similar they are you know how they lay in there how they taste everything um looking at these cans we've got some sailing ship on the um the belvedere's these are both like in rapeseed oil uh these riga sprats in oil a lot of these latvian sprats say like riga gold or have this very similar packaging these for what it's worth, are from International Gold Star Trading. They are the ones that distribute them in the US. I don't know if that's true. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's open the Belvedere's. Let's see what they look like. All right, all right. Pretty in here. Nice braid. Uh, they look a little stiff from being smoked. We've got that nice gold foil uh, skin happening, and uh, the room is flooded with nice, smoky, salty fish smells. That's for sure. Riga Sprats. Okay. This plate might not be big enough for both cans. Whoa, 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 it's Patreon time. I got a couple of new fishy freaks this week. Nobody joined the Dean's List this week. Is that okay, Bug? Is that all right? Yeah, I guess it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, new fishy freaks. Love goes onion on. Thank you so much, love goes onion on. And Rachel Slayton. Thanks, Rachel. And Tom Moore. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Bug, for cooperating. Yeah, I know, you're really cute. Yeah, who cares? Back to the show. Riga Sprats, a little less braidy. Um, they're belly up, uh, not quite the same premium appearance. The um, oil though it's kind of lopsided let's see what's happening when i um oh my god my desk is gonna smell like sprats okay the oil yeah a little misty this is clear okay all right all right for what it's worth these are about the same cost right um i mean i i, I don't know how much these can cost per can but i looked on amazon and they're like if you buy a dozen off of amazon they're like a little over three dollars delicious kind of small kind of short I mean sprats are short okay Belvedere's a little longer he looks stiff yeah tail a little stiffer um the oil has given me a little bit more joy, I think. But tail still like, um, somewhat like a, uh, you know, like a paintbrush that needs to be cleaned, I guess. You know, suddenly you want to have every sprat that you've ever tasted in front of you to like, you know, start really getting crazy and comparing and contrasting. These are so much different from like King Oscar. I mean, the way the way that they're they're smoked, you know, they just they just come out a lot stiffer. I mean, we'll just compare the the. Uh, it's about the biggest one I could pull out for the um, 
the Riga Sprats, the Belvedere's, they're just bigger. Their, their, their skin has a much, much finer, um, finer foiling that's going on. Slightly bigger ripples in the, uh, what are we calling them? Riga Sprats? Yeah. It's actually the softest one I've had of uh, the Belvedere's. It's really, really kind of big here. Let me see if I can just take this apart. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking the, the Belvedere's do have a little bit more of a premium appearance. And uh, yeah, some spine action. Swing it around. There's still a variety of textures, you know, like the fish, they're all kind of coming out as their own fish. Yeah, these guys are long enough that you jam it in your mouth, tail first, you kind of, you kind of scrape the, the back of your throat. And that seems to be the thing with, um, with all these Riga, Riga sprats. Latvian guys. The Riga Sprats, um, for what it's worth, I think they're they're pretty consistent. Let's try some out of the bottom. Oh, so these are bigger in the bottom. Interesting. Yeah, it's almost like um, it's almost like these ones went in upside down. Right? You know what I'm saying? But you get these really shorty. Yeah, these are this is the shortest ones I've I've seen. I mean if you like smoked fish, I think this is pretty good. And I think these compare favorably with King Oscars. Um in terms of like general quality the, the characteristics of these fish I think I think that's just the way they are you know there must be a market where this is this is what they want they want these these tails that have sort of stiffened up with the smoking and that's you know if it's if they don't have that then they don't have the thing because now I've tried you know lots of these cans and they all seem to have that. The Belvedere's are a little bit, yeah, they're a little softer. Maybe they're a little juicier. It seems like they've soaked up more of this oil. This oil is just prettier and, um, you know, it's uh, less misty. This stuff, this oil, the can does say that um, it's mostly rapeseed oil but it could be soybean oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These are a lot of sprats to just eat. Um. Ooh, that was a salty one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta say, I'm still not turned way around on Latvian Sprats. I just haven't had the ones that are like, uh, this is super, super what I want. You know, um, I'm still really into the Fangs. Uh, those are a, those are a lot more expensive. It's tough to compare them like in a fair way. I can see why Dan has chosen to stock the Belvedere's in this category. If you can find a brand that's pushing like a 10 or 15% quality difference and present well in the can, and that's kind of like, that's all you need. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.